distinguished colleagues. In recent days, the Ukrainian issue has uh, made headlines, global headlines, and has now been given pride of place at the UN Security Council and now the General Assembly. At the same time, Russian actions are being distorted and thwarted, and there is uh, the number of incredible fakes is staggering with the use uh, with uh, media outlets and social networks proliferating. Uh, these lies. For this reason today, I wish to focus on the real reasons for the crisis that has emerged and its possible consequences. I wish to emphasize the following. The root for the current crisis lies in the actions of Ukraine itself. For many years, it sabotaged and flouted its direct obligations under the Minsk package of measures to the ongoing, the persistent aggressive actions that are undertaken by the Ukrainian regime. The Ukrainian authorities which has of late been actively uh, armed and incited by a number of states, were under the misconception that with the uh, the, uh, the indulgence of Western patrons and sponsors, they would be able to address the issues in Bas militarily. It is difficult otherwise. It would be difficult to explain the ongoing intensification of shelling and sabotage acts on the territory of the republics, which I mentioned. The people of Donbass and Lugansk conti uh, continued to have to take shelter in basements. Uh, there was a flood of refugees entering the Russian Federation, and the, yet still the nature of the Ukrainian Armed Forces operation did not change, and yet Western partners did not wish uh, turned a blind eye to this, and they merely echoed Ukrainian tall tales about the allegations that Donbass people were shelling on themselves. Uh, the worsening uh, suffering of the residents of Donbass is something that has left Western sponsors unmoved in recent years. This uh, discussion at the Security Council and General Assembly, there was no empathy whatsoever, no compassion for the people of Donbass and Lugansk. It seems that these four million people simply don't exist for them. And as a result, uh, the ongoing threats targeting the people of LPR and DPR, given the lack of prospects for addressing the problems in the area under the Minsk operations due to the fil fil failure to fulfill them, the Russian president took a decision for a specially military, special military operation to be carried out in Donbass. Occupation of Ukraine is not part of, this, of these plans. The goal of the special operation is to protect the people who for eight years were subject to torment and, genos and genocide by the Kiev regime. To that end, there is a, we, we, there's a need to deal militarize and denazify Ukraine. We further will strive to hold accountable those who carried out countless brutal crimes against the people, uh, the, the residents, uh, including uh, residents of the Russian Federation. This decision was taken in line with Article 51 of the United Nations Charter with the sanction of the Federation Council of the Russian Federation in pursuant of the agreement on friendship and cooperation with DPR and LPR, I wish to recall further that the principle of sovereignty and territorial integrity of states uh, uh, is, is, is something which we are being accused of breaching vis-a-vis -vis Ukraine. The Declaration on Principles of International Law on Friendly Relations Between uh, Peoples was adopted in 1970, and it needs to be unstintingly complied with with respect to states, I quote, complying in, uh, conducting themselves in compliance with the principle of equal rights and self-determination of peoples as described above and thus possessed of a government representing the whole people belonging to the territory without distinction as to race, creed, or color." End of quote. Today's government of Ukraine is no such government. Moreover, during the special military operation, Russia has been exercising its right to self-defense from a regime that has been striving to gain access to nuclear weapons. 